Hello, my name is Prashant, and I invite you to journey with me into the heart of the world's most formidable mountain range. Here, amidst the clouds and ancient forests of the Himalayas, lives a creature of almost mythical beauty. It is a bird so vibrant, so utterly spectacular, that to glimpse it is to witness one of nature's most dazzling displays. This is the Satur Tragopan, arguably one of the most colorful and certainly one of the most elusive pheasants on our planet. Its existence is a whisper in the dense undergrowth, a fleeting flash of crimson against the deep green of the rhododendron forests. For centuries, this bird has remained a well-guarded secret of these high-altitude realms, its life unfolding far from human eyes. But today, thanks to the patience and dedication of wildlife photographers and conservationists, we can pull back the veil. We will explore the intricate details of its life, from its breathtaking appearance to its secretive behaviors and the unique challenges it faces in a rapidly changing world. The story of the Seder Tregopan is not just about a single species. It is a story about the delicate balance of life in one of Earth's last great wildernesses. So join me as we venture deep into the Himalayan forests. We will discover the mind-blowing facts that make this bird so extraordinary. We will witness its remarkable courtship dance, understand its struggle for survival, and appreciate why it is so crucial that we protect these magnificent mountain sanctuaries. Prepare to be captivated by the crimson-horned pheasant, a true jewel of the high mountains, and uncover the secrets of its hidden world. To behold a male satyr Tragopan in his full breeding regalia is an experience that borders on the surreal. He is a living tapestry, woven with the most brilliant colors imaginable. His head is a deep, velvety black, a stark contrast to the fiery crimson that cloaks his neck and breast, a red so intense it seems to burn with an inner light. This sea of red is freckled with dozens of tiny, pearl-white spots, each one perfectly ringed with black, like a constellation scattered across a crimson sky. His back and wings are a more subdued, intricate pattern of brown and gray, providing camouflage from above, a necessary concession to the ever-present danger of aerial predators. It is a masterpiece of natural design. This spectacular plumage is not mere vanity. It is a billboard, a declaration of health, strength, and genetic fitness. Every vibrant feather, every perfectly formed spot, sends a clear message to any discerning female. It says, I have survived. I have thrived in this harsh environment. I am a worthy father for your children. In the dim, filtered light of the forest floor, these colors are designed to catch the eye, to stand out against the muted greens and browns of the undergrowth. The intensity of his red plumage is directly linked to his diet and overall health, making it an honest signal of his quality as a mate. It is a high-risk, high-reward strategy. Such conspicuousness makes him a prime target for predators like leopards and martens. He must constantly balance the drive to display his beauty with the instinct to remain hidden. This evolutionary tension has shaped every aspect of his being, creating a bird that is at once breathtakingly bold and maddeningly elusive. The female, by contrast, is a study in subtlety. Her mottled brown and gray feathers are the epitome of camouflage, allowing her to melt into the leaf litter, a crucial adaptation for when she is incubating her eggs and raising her vulnerable chicks alone. Her quiet beauty is one of survival, while his is one of spectacle. The Seder Tragopan makes its home in one of the most dramatic landscapes on Earth. Its realm is the temperate and subalpine forests that cling to the steep slopes of the Himalayas. These are not gentle, rolling woodlands. They are precipitous, often shrouded in mist, and subject to extreme weather. This species is found across a sweep of this great range, from the dense oak and rhododendron forests of northern India, through the remote valleys of Nepal and Bhutan, and into the southeastern corner of Tibet. It thrives at altitudes between 2,400 and 4,200 meters, a zone where the air is thin and the seasons are unforgiving. Its preferred habitat is a specific and fragile ecosystem. The tragopan seeks out forests with a thick, almost impenetrable undergrowth of bamboo and ferns. This dense lower layer is essential for its survival, providing cover from predators and a rich source of food. The forest floor, carpeted with a deep layer of decaying leaves, moss, and fallen logs, is its primary foraging ground. It is here that it finds the seeds, berries, and insects that sustain it. The presence of large mature trees is also critical, as the tragopan roosts high in their branches at night, seeking safety from ground-dwelling threats. This reliance on a very particular type of high-altitude forest makes the satyr tragopan incredibly vulnerable. Its range is not a continuous belt, but a series of isolated pockets of suitable habitat, like islands in a sea of rock and ice. 
This fragmentation means that populations can become cut off from one another, limiting genetic diversity. As we will see, human activities are increasingly encroaching upon these high sanctuaries, putting immense pressure on the Tragopan's world and threatening the delicate web of life that has existed here for millennia. The future of this bird is inextricably linked to the health of these ancient Himalayan forests. When the breeding season arrives in spring, the quiet, secretive male Tragopan undergoes a truly astonishing transformation. He becomes a performer, and the forest floor his stage. His objective is to win the favor of a discerning female, and to do so, he unleashes one of the most bizarre and spectacular courtship displays in the avian world. It begins subtly. He will clear a small area on the ground, his stage, and begin a series of bows and scrapes, all the while uttering a low wailing call that echoes through the trees, a lonely sound announcing his readiness to mate. Should a female show interest, the performance escalates dramatically. The male faces her, and with a series of quick convulsive head shakes, he begins to inflate two extraordinary structures that are normally hidden. From the sides of his head, two fleshy horn-like appendages, a brilliant cobalt blue, begin to extend upwards. Simultaneously, a large inflatable bib or lappet unfurls from beneath his chin. This lappet is a breathtaking mosaic of color, predominantly sky blue, but patterned with intricate scarlet markings. It is a sight so alien, so unexpected, that it seems to belong to another world entirely. With his horns erect and his lappet fully displayed, the male enters the final act. He will bow deeply, spreading his wings and fanning his tail, presenting his full splendor to the female. He may make short, frantic dashes towards her, his decorated throat pouch wobbling with each movement. The entire display is a silent, hypnotic dance of color and form. The female watches, seemingly unimpressed, but she is judging every detail, the size and color of his horns, the vibrancy of his lappet, the energy of his performance. It is a theatrical masterpiece, a fleeting moment of pure magic in the Himalayan gloom, upon which the future of his lineage depends. For all its flamboyant potential, the Satyr Tragopan lives a life defined by caution. It's really a ghost of the forest, a master of concealment. Its default state is one of quiet watchfulness, with movements that are slow and deliberate. To navigate its world, which is honestly filled with predators, the Tragopan relies on stealth and an intimate knowledge of its territory. It spends the majority of its day on the forest floor, hidden beneath the dense canopy of ferns and bamboo thickets. Here in the deep shade, even the male's bright colors are surprisingly pretty muted, broken up by the dappled light and shadow. This shy and elusive nature is its primary defense mechanism. At the slightest hint of danger, the snap of a twig or maybe the shadow of a hawk overhead, it will freeze instantly, relying on its patterned back to blend into the leaf litter. If the threat persists, it won't fly, but rather run, melting silently and swiftly into the thickest part of the undergrowth. Flight is a last resort, typically used only to escape immediate peril or to reach a roosting spot high in a tree for the night. This reluctance to take to the air makes it incredibly difficult to spot, even for those who spend their lives searching for it. Living in such a secretive manner requires highly developed senses. The Tragopan has excellent hearing, able to detect the faintest sounds of an approaching predator. Its vision is sharp, constantly scanning its surroundings for any sign of movement. This constant state of alert is a necessity for survival in a world shared with formidable hunters like the leopard, the Asiatic golden cat, and various birds of prey. The Tragopan's life is really a masterclass in risk assessment, a continuous balancing act between the need to find food and the overwhelming imperative to remain unseen and unheard in its shadowy kingdom. The life of a satyr Tragopan is intricately tied to the rhythm of the forest floor. This is its larder, the source of all its sustenance. As a ground-dwelling bird, its diet is dictated by what it can find by scratching and digging through the rich, damp earth and leaf litter. It is primarily an omnivore, with a strong preference for plant matter, but it will not pass up an opportunity for a protein-rich meal. Its days are spent in a slow, methodical search for food, a quiet pilgrimage through its territory. The bulk of its diet consists of the bounty provided by the forest's flora. It feeds on a wide variety of seeds, from grasses and herbs, as well as the tender buds and leaves of new growth in the spring. Berries are a particular favorite, providing essential sugars and vitamins. As the seasons change, so does its menu. It follows the fruiting and seeding of different plants, a knowledge passed down through instinct. This reliance on plant matter makes the health of the forest ecosystem absolutely critical to its survival. 
A diverse and thriving plant community ensures a consistent food supply throughout the year. However, the tragopan also supplements its vegetarian diet with small invertebrates. It uses its strong feet to scratch away the top layer of soil, exposing insects, grubs, worms, and snails. This animal protein is especially important during the breeding season, when the demands of courtship, egg laying, and raising chicks require extra energy. By feeding in this way, the tragopan also plays a small but important role in the forest ecosystem, helping to aerate the soil and control insect populations. Its feeding habits are a perfect example of how a species can be both shaped by its environment and, in turn, help to shape it. Despite its remote, high-altitude home, the satyr tragopan is not insulated from the pressures of the modern world. Its future is increasingly uncertain. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has classified this magnificent species as near-threatened, a warning sign that it is sliding towards a more vulnerable status. The primary threats it faces are sadly all too familiar, the loss of its habitat and the persistent pressure of hunting. These two forces are pushing the tragopan into smaller and more fragmented pockets of forest, jeopardizing its long-term survival. Habitat loss is the most insidious threat. The temperate forests of the Himalayas are being cleared at an alarming rate for agriculture, logging, and the development of infrastructure like roads and dams. As these forests shrink, so does the tragopan's world. The crucial dense undergrowth it relies on for cover and food is often the first thing to be cleared or degraded by livestock grazing. This encroachment not only reduces the available habitat, but also isolates populations, preventing the flow of genes and making them more susceptible to disease and local extinction. Furthermore, the tragopan's beauty is also a curse. It has been hunted for centuries, both for its meat and for its spectacular feathers, which are used for decoration. Although officially protected in many areas, illegal poaching continues to be a significant problem, particularly in more remote regions where enforcement is difficult. The combination of a shrinking home and direct persecution creates a perilous situation for this shy, slow-breeding bird. The classification of near-threatened is not a final verdict, but a call to action. Without concerted conservation efforts, the whisper of the tragopan in the forest could fall silent forever. Names often hold a story, and the satyr tragopan is no exception. It is known by several evocative titles, but perhaps the most descriptive is the crimson-horned pheasant. This name, of course, comes directly from the male's extraordinary courtship display. The two fleshy, brilliant blue horns that he erects from his head are a defining feature, a spectacle that has captured the imagination of all who have been lucky enough to witness it. These are not true horns made of bone or keratin, but inflatable structures of skin engorged with blood during his display, a temporary crown worn only for the theatre of courtship. The origin of the name Tragopan itself is rooted in mythology. It is believed to be a portmanteau of two ancient Greek words, tragos, meaning goat, and pan, the half-goat, half-man god of the wild and pastures. Early naturalists, upon hearing descriptions of a bird with horn-like appendages, likely made the connection to the horned deities of ancient lore. The specific name, satyr, further deepens this connection, referring to the mythical woodland spirits that were companions of pan. It's a fittingly mythic name for a bird that seems to appear and disappear like a spirit of the forest. This nickname, the Crimson Horned Pheasant, does more than just describe a physical feature. It encapsulates the awe and wonder the bird inspires. It speaks to a time when nature and myth were deeply intertwined. For the local communities who share the mountains with this bird, it holds a special place in folklore and culture. Sharing these names and the stories behind them helps us connect with the species on a deeper level. It is not just a biological specimen, but a creature of legend a crimson-plumed, horned marvel of the high Himalayan wilderness, a name that perfectly captures its wild and magical essence. The story of the Seta Tragopan is a powerful reminder of the hidden wonders our planet still holds. In the high, misty forests of the Himalayas, this bird lives out its life, a vibrant testament to the beauty and complexity of the natural world. We have journeyed into its home, witnessed its secret rituals, and understood the fragile nature of its existence. Its fate is now inextricably linked to our own actions. The choices we make, even from thousands of miles away, have an impact on these remote sanctuaries and the remarkable creatures that depend on them for survival. I urge you to let this be the beginning of your own journey of discovery. 
Learn more about the incredible biodiversity of the Himalayas, a region that is not only home to the tragopan, but to countless other unique species, many of whom are facing similar threats. Seek out the stories of the snow leopard, the red panda, and the Himalayan monal. Understanding is the first step towards appreciation, and appreciation is the foundation of conservation. The more we know about these animals and their ecosystems, the more we will be inspired to protect them. You can make a difference. Support organizations that are working on the ground in India, Nepal, and Bhutan to protect these forests and their wildlife. Advocate for sustainable policies that balance human needs with the preservation of nature. By lending your voice and your support, you become a guardian of these high-altitude realms. Let us work together to ensure that the wailing call of the crimson-horned pheasant continues to echo through the rhododendron forests for generations to come, a symbol of a wild and thriving Himalayan wilderness. Thank you for joining me.